Thank you for choosing to look at this presentation. My main objectives are what is a macerator and to show some applications and uses. As you can see from the video, we have three factories in France specialising in different aspects of the macerators. We have 24 subsidiaries throughout the world and 60 distributors, subsidiaries being direct companies of SFA, Saniflow. Ireland has been uh, in working manufacturing uh, motors and now distributing since 1999. SFA is a world leader in macerators. The core values we have is innovation and quality, cost control and productivity, and customer service. Saniflow product range will allow you to solve most wastewater issues, be it wastewater from WC bathrooms below the sewer level, coffee machines and shopping centres, which plumbing is not available, condensing boilers replacing old boilers, internal air conditioning, and so on. First of all, I'll start with a little history. The history of the macerator, to go right back the word sewer is in fact from an old English sea word referring to the carrying of water in open dishes, di dishes down to the river and ultimately to the sea. Originally this was just specifically for sewage but also for rainwater and drainage in both urban and rural environments. If you were living almost 3,000 years ago you had probably gone for something like this. Looks like they had already miniskirts back then. But the earliest and most sophisticated sewage removal systems have been found in Crete. Excavations have under uncovered a flushing toilet dating back to 1700 BC. An overhead reservoir provided the water for pouring into a drain which carried the waste into large sewers built of stone. Or if you had a hotel, maybe it would look, you'd like to install a nice communal WC area like this, a Roman, a Roman latrine, a bit like a gentleman's club. We've done it until 1956, a breakthrough occurred. Now you can install a toilet just about anywhere in a building. Just to go back a little in time to the 1970, a macerator looked like this. A bit like a coffee grinder, in fact, or a food blender that blends food after rather than before you've eaten it. Sorry. 
This advert we found in France in 1970. As you can see, it's quite interesting. It's the first safe sanitary grinder. Mm. Interesting to see how designs have evolved from a decidedly functional look. And so began the modern age of the macerator. As you can see from the video, the macerator pump uses a fast rotating cutting blade to break waste and toilet paper and convert water and waste into fine slurry that can be discharged under pressure through piping expelled to the sewer or septic tank. Once the effluent arises to a present level, a micro switch in the pressure chamber of the macerating device is acti activated. Just to explain the working principle. At a starting position, the water level uh, is just below the micro switch, as you can see. When the water is flushed into the toilet, it raises up, activating the float, the float switch. This then in turn switches on the impeller and the blade, which are on both ends of the shaft through the motor, and begins to pump the water up through the discharge pipe on the right hand side. There's a non-return valve in the pipe to prevent the water from coming back down, so once it's expelled, it's expelled. Typically there's three blade cutting systems in macerators. On this particular one, the blade is on the top and the pumping uh, impeller is on the base. Cutting blade is also the impeller. This one mainly for the marine area boats macerated so fine as they were able to pump uh, waste into the sea. A third system is the waste is sucked through a cutting blade uh, already and the, the impeller is housed behind it. This works as a double function area. This is our more commercial system. Planning and installation. In this example, there's three possible routes. We follow the dotted line and we can have a look at them. So the owner has, de has decided to go ahead with installing extra facilities in the house. We may choose to install a macerator where it's impossible to use gra gravity drainage, if for example, in a basement, or where gravity drainage would meet a great deal of digging or disruption and of course the expense of digging up concrete or flooring etc. We have space at the rear of the house and want to put a bathroom there but the existing pipes are located at the front. One possibility is internally locate the small bore pipework under the floor to avoid openings. Small bore pipework can be fit outside the walls to avoid windows, doors etc. This can be pumped upwards and then along towards the front of the home. It can be pumped up internally, right up to the attic level, uh, up and over the attic, for example, across to the vent pipe, all within the house. Therefore, your new bathroom is possible. 
Having ensured that you uh, adhere to all regulations, you should survey the job and plan it in accordance with the manufacturer's specifications. Installing the unit correctly will ensure that the installation will operate correctly in the long-term future. Commercial demand. The, the continual development of the professional raid consists of pumps and macerators designed for use in commercial environments such as hotels, restaurants, factories, offices and such like. These units are built to run without overheating in heavy use situations. After exhaustive research in our factory and continuous comparative running tests and advanced engineering processes, we came up with some really heavy duty models. The commercial macerator, underground lifting stations, various tank capacities and units with standby pumps and alarms. The building waste enters the tanks by gravity and then is pumped away to the septic tank or sewer. A single pump can be placed into a pit both inside or outside the building. Some of the many applications I'll talk to quickly. Under a stairs cloakrooms, typically elderly people, a uh, bathroom may be upstairs and they want the bathrooms downstairs, they're not as mobile as what they were, uh, can fit there. Basement installations, you can't uh, uh, use gravity for drainage so it needs to be pumped. Lof loft or attic conversions, again the bathroom may uh, be installed at the front of the house where the pipework is at the back of the house so it needs to be pumped across in small bore pipework. Additional bathrooms, extensions, if a garden room is remote from the house the waste maybe need to be pumped back up to the back of the house. Any modernizations in a home or an office, refurbishment, granny flats again like garden rooms, bathrooms for the elderly, holiday homes, static caravan and chalets, temporary buildings, porter cabins, hotels and guest houses adding additional bathrooms, listed buildings, again pipe work can't be changed, offices, homes, social clubs and the list goes on. A range of macerator and pumps these days exist for every part of the house from loft to loft to the basement 
for shower rooms, bathrooms, as well as kitchens and utility rooms. You can choose to install a macerator where it's impossible to use gravity drainage, for example in the basement. A popular domestic application is to take what often ends up as a broom cupboard under the stairs and turn it into an elegant cloakroom. Here, for example, is a macerator unit with a built-in motor into the ceramic. WC with an integral macerator, which is, projects 430 mil from front to the back, can be fitted into confined spaces and therefore is a popular under the stairs location. Bedroom en suite, maybe at the front of the house, opposite to where the existing soil pipe is located. The grey water pumps do not macerate, do not macerate but will pump wastewater from dishwashers, washing machines and kitchen sinks if they are located in the basement or remote from the existing drainage. Less stable installations where there are new requirements within an existing building. Wastewater sucked up from a shower or waste trap and pumped away. This allows a wet room to be installed on a concrete floor, unbreachable floor, where the wastewater is sucked up and pumped away. An example of a high use commercial application, the American Circus constantly travels with, number, with large numbers of staff and of course their audience and installed in a trailer that houses two male and two ma female WCs. This installation has a circus feel to it as you can see. This remote looks particularly useful. Mm. A construction site has installed a commercial macerator so, it works, so the workers can have real toilets instead of chemical loos originally set up. A bank of three WCs and wash-on basins have served this unit. Installations are common for porta cabins and building sites. Often garden rooms buildings can be constructed remote from the existing house. The waste foul water drain may be at the rear at a higher level, therefore the waste will need to be pumped to the existing drain. Macerators are also installed below the ground level, taking kitchens, sinks, dishwashers, washing machines, and may also the bathroom, WC shower and basins. New bakeries were to be launched in the existing little stores, but the issue was the location within some of the stores. The existing drainage was on the opposite side of the building. Installed were grey water pumps to take the waste from sink, the sink and ovens in the bakery section. Pipe work up and over to avoid ex excavation costs and disrupt pumping uh, waste to the existing pipe work. Porta cabin structure is away from the existing drainage. Installed was a WC basin and shower and pumped to the main existing sewer. A remote kitchen island in a domestic situation. Commercial kitchens, remote drainage again. Many bars, restaurants, making use of open unused spaces and basements. This building was below the sewer level. Waste had been discharged into a river for, for many years. To allow the bathroom and kitchen to be functional, a heavy duty macerator with a backup pump solved their problem. A basement installation taking waste from WC's showers and basins from Maduco Gym Dublin was located in what was originally built for offices. This pump was located in the car park below and pumped back up to the main sewer. Antarctic. We think this is the furthest macerator away from us. The waste pipe has constant flow of salt water to stop the macerator waste from freezing within the pipework. Possibly the fastest macerator, 12 and 24 volt macerators available to the marine sector. Possibly the deepest macerator, mines. Maybe not macerators on board. Some of the application drawings we can have a look at. Waste pipe vertical lift 3 metres, a horizontal of 20 metres. New facilities located within an existing building. The macerator had to lift to a 4 inch riser main 3 metres above. Multiple WCs and showers and basins were uh, located in a new se se section in St James's Hospital in Dublin. As you can see, there's many uh, single pipe works going from each macerator to a main tank individual macerator pipe work. Now we have one macerator can take them all our more commercial larger units. New buildings with inadequate falls. Common problems is the four inch internal pipe blocking with paper due to the heat from uh, the systems over weekends etc. Here is an office floor in the IFSC Dublin. Long distance may restrict uh, proper gravity falls so the macerator could be a solution. 
required was a disabled bathroom. The only space available was internal in Johnny Fox's pub. New apartments located at the front of the building. The drainage was at the rear. Apartments built in an existing building for the elderly in Bolton Glass and Wick Wicklow. Some notes on installation. Macerator's decibel rate from 36 to 46. Some of the commercial rates are up to 65 decibels. Noise can be reduced by absorbing the vibration, rubber feet, rock wool, not, pr not pressing pump against joists, etc. We do have uh, some contacts that do specialised uh, fa uh, fabrication, uh, noise uh, reducing materials. Pipe work suitable for use in macerator units. Copper or solvent weld plastic pipe, 22 mil or 32 mil for domestic models, 40 mil and 50 mil and up to 100 mil for commercial units. Attention to a few important do's and don'ts will ensure the above. In effect, there are a number of important rules and principles to follow when planning a sani flow installation. Always run horizontal pipe work with a minimum of 1% fall. This may involve taking up floorboards or notching joists or fixing pipe uh, to, uh, with a fall along their length. Always run any vertical rise that may be required to, uh, at the start of a pipe run as near as possible to the sani flow unit. This will ensure optimum discharge capability of the pipework. Then from a high point, a horizontal pipe with a 1% fall is recommended. Smooth bends, 45 degrees, is also helps restriction. Domestic units uh, have a 5 amp supply. Commercial units generally 13 amps, 20 amps for our larger units. Running a discharge pipe underground to a manhole, copper or plastic pipe suitable for above ground installations are also super suitable for underground installations, provided that the 1 in 200 minimum fall is laid correctly. The ground above is not a, uh, subject to heavy wheel loads. Regulations. The Irish regulations regarding macerators and pumping systems. Our smaller macerators, domestic units, need to conform to and do conform with EN 120501 4 uh, The more of larger units, the commercial pumping stations, need to conform to EN 120564, which again they do. Also, uh, in the regulations, there is requirements for have a back loop or a non-return valve to stop any water coming from the sewer back down into the system or flooding a building, for example, which may be in a basement. Also in the regulations, if a house, the total drainage, the total waste coming from the house, there needs to be 24 hour capacity for repair the pump if there's any issues. This generally relates to 150 litres per person per day for the house if the total drainage is going into a macerating system. Just summarising quickly the presentation, Saniflow SFA Group is a manufacturer of macerators. I went through a little bit of the history of the macerators, the beginning of it, the working principles of the macerator, examples of installations and applications. I hope this has been helpful to uh, give you some ideas of some possible applications you may come across. Thank you very much for your time.